Hello everyone, and welcome. My name is Dicart, and this is episode 17 of my Empyrean Alpha 9 Let's Play. Between episodes, I just added a few things. I'm trying to keep the balance. Um, I don't know how important that is with an SV that I keep the balance, um, but that's what I'm doing. So I've added a um, an ammo controller and then six uh, blocks. And now if I access this, uh, let's rename this small vessel. Uh, let's call it um, SV Hauler. Good enough. Okay, so with the hauler, um, for the ammo, I this gives it a volume of 1750. And I created a ton of minigun ammo and a little bit of railgun. I need to make some more railgun, I think. Um, but it's holding it just fine. So let's say I have 700 more volume. A railgun is 0.1. <laughs> so yeah, I could make 7,000 more railgun bullets and be okay. Um, so anyway, let's go here. Let's make some more railgun bullets. So I think that's what made 100. So let's, let's do that. No, oh, we could only do 30. Okay, good enough. Um, so that puts us back to here. So we could only make 30 total. And then we ran out of uh, something. I don't even know what it was. Anyway, so we should be good. Uh, we'll need to make some more bullets. But I think that's going to be good for our ammo storage. So I think the next thing I want to do is get our weapons connected. Um, let's do this. Let's get this back to our connected... Uh, set up. Here we go. So we want our Gatling guns and our rail guns. And we can get those on here. Um, let's take a look at this. The rail guns. Perhaps there. And then the Gatling guns. Like that. Look at that. Does that look powerful? <laughs> all right. Um, now, again, I'm planning to armor all this below. Like, I'll add some lights and stuff like that, too. Um, but, all right, so that's got that on there. So now, really, it's the storage that I want to work on. Um, so if I put one container controller here, what does that give me? Oh, it's, I've got the two of them on there. So this guy provides 125 volume. So if I put an extension right there, how much did I just get out of that? Let's go uh, SV Hauler, 375. So it's 250 volume for each one of these. Right? So they have twice as much the, as the container controller. That's very strange. Uh, let me... Let me get out my trusty calculator. And if I want uh, the max I can do of these, I believe. Oh, wait, that's the window I wanted. Uh, container controller can have 64,000 capacity total. So 64,000 minus the 125 that the controller itself has. And then divide that by 250, which is what each of the extensions give me. That can't be right. It says 255 extensions required to max that volume out. Um, well, let's see. So for this, I wanted to leave the space in here for engines and fuel tanks. So I think I will. I'll just put these here. 
So out of curiosity, what are we looking at now? 5,875. We're already twice as much storage as I could have. Uh, so, well, four times the storage I had on the other vessel. Uh, but I don't want to go any taller than that. So let's go... We need to keep them separate, so that's fine. Let's go there. And there. We can just kind of... Let's see, I can do four more. There. And now I'm out of those completely. But I'm up to 9,375. And that's two. That's twice. So I actually have 18,000. Um... Yeah, look at that. I could I could put a lot more on there. Wow. I was not prepared for that. Um I guess the test is how many more can I actually build? Um Well, there's 500 more. <laughs> so I guess I can build quite a few. All right, let's keep adding, right? Let's do this. Before I forget, uh, base, fridge, um, yeah, let's get a little bit of, food in us. Okay, so now, let's do this. Let's grab that, there we go. We want it over and out. Okay, that might be too much. Let's take a look at this now. Um, 14,625, so that's not too much. We actually can put a, a lot more on there. So let's, uh, let's do it. Now this might end up not working at all. I could end up with a problem where... Um, I just don't have the power to fly this thing. In fact, I was trying to keep it a little more narrow, but I'm, I'm wondering if I should make it actually wider. Um, let's, let's finish off these lines. Come on, come on. Because, I mean, that's really the whole point of this thing, right, is storage. Okay, so how are we looking now? 25,000, and we can go up to 64,000. Dang, so this is only a third of what we could actually do here. So let's... Uh, Let's let's do the side here. Oh, hello. Get it back under control. How are we looking now? Thirty five thousand. So what I'm thinking at this point is Instead of adding, I need to leave space for the engines. So what I might do is put the engines on it and then put the blocks around the engines and then close them. I'm not sure if that's smart or not, but yeah, whatever. Oh, and I need the RCS units as well. Um... I have a feeling I'm going to need all those generators and even more fuel tanks than that. <clears throat> but let's just get this set up. Look how big these engines are. Dang. Okay, so let's go underneath. We want to do the side. And we want them to basically meet up as best we can. Wow, these things are 
Okay, right there. Okay, so I've got left and right. So now I know how deep I need to make the bottom. And I could put more engines on that. So I can, yeah, I could put more if I need to. So let's do this one. So it's a two by three, but I know I have space on the bottom. Oh no, it looks like a three by three actually. Yeah, but I could go down here. You know what, I might just, uh, let's see, this is three wide, so another engine, let me get this worked out. If I put another engine here, that's one, two, three wide, okay. So get off the engines here for a second. So one, one, two, three would be another engine. Then one, two, three would be another engine. And I can put these right under the final layer. Like this. A one, one underneath. Right, right there. Okay. So now I know there's space for other engines on the sides. And there's space for more on the back. All right, but now I need up, down, and uh, pushing against. So let's do the pushing against first. So do we want to put this up here? Or maybe just right on here. Oh, helps if I turn them the proper way. Um, that's not bad right there. Okay, so I've got two forward, two back, one on each side. I'm going to need at least two more, one for up, one for down. Um, I might actually put it right in between right there. Let's try it. So we go in here and get my clock back up here. Um, go here. We need two more of those engines. That, those were these. Okay. I'll grab those. Where'd they go? Here they are. All right. And so for this one, can we put it right in between these guys? Isn't it three? Um, let's turn it this way. And now can we go down with it? We can't. Oh, I have those guys one too close. It would have been nice to be able to do it exactly halfway. Um, I still can. Or I could, I could do two more and have two up and two down. Let's do it. Right? We got the materials. Why not? Let's build two more of those engines. Or, I should say thrusters. They're not engines. Sorry about that. Um, and let's grab those. And now we'll do two up and two down. Let's set them up right here. Now page down. Why can't you page down? Come on. Oh, no, wait, I need to leave that uh, space open. That's right, uh, for side. Oh, man, where do I want these to go? I could go here. And then, why can't I go down with this? There we go. Oh, then I lose it. I want this to go down. There we go. Now, I don't want it necessarily that far forward, but that's the idea. <clears throat> so I can build on top of that one if I need to. So let's do this. Let's go 
Oh, see, this way it won't let me go down. Or up. Oh, there it went up. Won't go down any farther. Very strange here. Okay, that's even with that engine. So if I place that, how far up does that stick? Eh, that's not too bad, actually. And then if I did a... Maybe I could go right on this side of it. And then if I want more sides... Eh. Boy, this is hard. I'm trying to get them uh, to be somewhat normal. Um... What I actually want, I believe, is, let's see, this is three wide. Let's do this for space holders. Whoops. One, two, three wide. Now, can we do this one right on that? Yes. Okay. But we want to flip it. Why can't it go up? We want it up, up. Keep going up, keep going up. Wow, it's strange how this control is just not working the way it, I believe it should. Of course, it's probably all me. problem is I want to get it so it's the same level as this other one. I think that's it. Nope, it's one too low. Darn it. That's all right. We'll make it work. So let's hope <laughs> that that's all the thrust we need. Okay, so, oh, look at that. 78 up and down. Yeah, 39 side to side. So we actually might want more side to side. What? What? What was that noise? Oh, a meteor shower. Whew, that was disturbing. <laughs> okay, so I actually might want another set of engines for the side to side movement. So let's get that. I might be going way overboard. I might not. Whoops. There we go. Um, I still have yet to test it by filling it up with something. Where, where did they go? Oh, here they are. Phew. Okay, so now let's take these and put them exactly like these. Right there. Right next to it. Okay, so that... Yeah. Now we need the RCS units, which we can go on the sides. Um... Okay, how are we looking there? Not good enough. I wonder if these are supposed to be like in the center of the ship. I wonder if that makes a difference. Let's do this. Um, let's pull these off. Retrieve them. And let's worry about those at the very end. And we can save space in in the middle here. Um, okay, so let's grab generators. 
and fuel tanks. And those RCS units we can hang on to. Alright, so let's see that and that. So we've got all the fuel tanks in there. Let's see, let me up, uh, wrong button. Let me get down here and see. We want to even with the bottom if we can. There we go. Uh oh, what happened? Look at that. It only put two of them and two disappeared. Look at that. Darn it, I've seen this bug before when you're using the symmetry plane. I don't think that's going to be enough. Um, so currently, its output would be 3.6 kpu. I don't know what it's going to draw, though. Um, I have a feeling I need more fuel than that. Um, so let's make some more, I guess. Darn it. Uh, let's make quite a bit more. Let's make four more. Okay. And then just to see if the bug doesn't happen, we'll disconnect that. And then we'll put these in. Let's see, we were vertical. Like so, here we go. Why is, did I build engines instead of fuel tank? What? Okay, hang on. How many engines do I have on this thing? Two generators. That's what I mean by engine, sorry. All right, fuel tank, fuel tank. Fuel tank, fuel tank. So it does have all four fuel tanks. What the heck? Where are... So I put them in here, I thought. Okay. That's really strange. So I added them here first, didn't I? These are the fuel tanks, right? Yeah. So I had added the four fuel tanks first. And these are two generators. So it's two generators that are gone, not the friggin' fuel tanks. What are these? Those are the O2 tanks. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so I might need more generators. But for now, we've got engines in. So we know, like, this block here I can fill with storage. Ah! I forgot I turned off that symmetry plane. <laughs> okay, let's turn it back on. Okay. So let's fill this. Like that. My guess is when I put uh, the armor on this thing, that it's going to be too heavy, and I'm going to need more um, thrusters, which might mean more generators. Um, all right, so how much space does this have now? 44,625. So I could actually use 20,000 more. Now... I have my ammo storage, and I was thinking I wanted a smaller fuel type storage. Um, let's grab this and take this off. So I'm wondering where I put that to keep it separate. I could put it like here. Nah. 
Yeah, that would actually work. Um, eh, it wouldn't have enough space. What I want is, like, these would be two big general storage for just anything and everything. Or maybe one would be materials, and one would be general. Um, but I want a third storage, which will be uh, for, um, like, the stuff that the ship needs, like fuel, O2, um, that sort of stuff. I could put it right here under this engine. I could even wrap it around the front if I wanted. Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to want one control box, and it's going to need to go here, so it's centered. And then extensions can go around. Like that. Forty-one twenty-five. So we need this one quite a bit bigger, but I think it's going to work. Um, we just need to not touch it to the ammo. So we got to be careful about that. Um, we can actually build it one more lower. Let's do that. that. We're at 12,625, which is probably going to be enough for just my fuel and stuff. But go big or go home, right? <laughs> All right. 16,625. Let's call that good for now. We can, we'll, we'll leave space so we can always add more. So I think what I'll say is that storage-wise, we're pretty good. Um, I could add a little bit more on this, couldn't I? Actually, I could add a lot more on this. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's go. Like that. That's the biggest we got for what we've made. So 16,000 on that. That one's going to be 63,000. So that's almost full. It's only 64,000 is the most we can get. So like one more block on each side would be it. So that's good. We'll call that good for storage. So now looking at the stats without any armor on it or RCS units, I'm still pretty good with my speed. So that's good. I like that. But if you look at it before, it was 70 something um, meters per second squared on my speed. And I've cut that almost in half and I haven't even added the heavy blocks to it yet. <laughs> so yikes. Heavy blocks, meaning the armored blocks that'll go around the outside. Um, I did make four of these. Are these fuel or engines? Those are fuel tanks. Uh, I don't think I need the fuel tanks. Um, so let's not use those. I might need some more engines. Definitely need combat steel. We're done with the container controllers. We're going to need more RCS units, I'm quite sure. But we're getting close. Getting very close to being done with this thing. 
Um, so I think what I'll do is I will armor it between episodes, and it's probably going to just be a big block. But hey, you know, what can you do? Uh, that's the way I build. Um, but I will armor it up between episodes, and then we'll try to finalize it in the next episode and maybe get to flying around and seeing how good it is. All right. So that's going to be it for this episode because we're out of time. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you will join me for my next episode. Take care, everyone.